So four generations, uh, great grandpa and grandma. Grandpa was born here and raised here for the most part. Parents and then me. So I'm number four on the place. Actually number five in the farm farming in the area, but number four for the for this actual farmstead. Well, I'm able to raise my family the same way I was raised. That really helps. Uh, that really is kind of what I wanted to do. Right now we've got three different LLCs. One's four generations farms, one's four generations barn, and then I've got the four generations ag, which is the seed sales and the, some of the precision services that we offer. The barn that basically was set and empty, and I just decided it was too neat of a structure to, to leave empty. So we started building, and I needed some place to operate my business out of, because I didn't have any place in the house. There was no place in the house to do it. We started renovating it, and, and we actually had our 100-year party here a couple summers ago. We got a lot of comments saying we should rent it out. The kids were um, getting old enough. They're going to be in school full time. And so turned into um, where we actually rented out for weddings, birthday parties, graduations, just anything basically that people want to gather. People really like unique venues. Um, they like to get something other than just a room with chairs and tables. It's, it's got, you know, a lot of historic value and, and the, the, the wood, the wood tone and the and the weathering and pretty much all the barn's still there. We just kind of added to it, added some creature comforts. I, I kind of say the barn is a legacy project because I kind of want to be something I can leave behind for them to pick up. The farm too, but raising girls, I, I can see them a little bit, you know, more maybe getting into, you know, the, the barn business. That's kind of one of the reasons why I started it too.